I think the perfect photograph is one that gets the viewer to come back. One that makes the viewer curious. I'll probably spend my entire life chasing the perfect picture. But part of the joy of it is in that hunt. In photography, you could say, for me, the most important thing has always been the telling of a story. And at the same time, I would say photography is, in a way, for me, a language in which I can express myself. And it's become also the way in which I see the world and experience the world and sort of my entire adult life. That's really been how I move through the world. Photography is what gives me the excuse to go be places, and that's a very important part of my life. After photographing Dovre, I drove westwards towards Trollstigen. One of the great things about doing this trip entirely by road is that I can stop anywhere I want. If I see something that interests me, I can pull up, jump out, and go check it out. It's a fantastic drive to go on because the landscape changes all the time. You take one turn and head up into the next valley, and who knows what golden nuggets of a view might be waiting for you around the corner. It's almost annoying to be looking for the greatest landscape because you're seeing something and going, oh wow, you know, I have to photograph it. So you jump out of the car and you start taking a picture and then you drive five more minutes and it's kind of like one ups that one and goes, whoa, that's really incredible. We're on our way to Trollstigen, which is an amazing piece of road. The many, many switchbacks going up a valley up to the mountain plateau driving up Trollstigen. It's a really unique place to drive. We uh, arrived at Trollstigen, the Trolls Ladder. So I'm just gonna try a couple of things and then I'm gonna head all the way to the top, the lookout up there. When I got to Trollstigen, first of all, I saw that it's so steep there. At this time, yeah, I had very little chance of getting any sunlight to drop in there. I'm thinking to maybe come back in the evening when you have a much more even lighting. Right now, it's not a good time because it, you know, you're half of it in shade, half of it in the sun, so. I took the picture for 10, 15 minutes, and then the cars that came driving up this road painted in the road with their headlights. In a way, it was a solution to take a picture where you really could see the road in its entirety, and at the same time, it looked nice. Time is already running out. The best way to get there would be to hire a boat. 